Oh, they indeed love their football here in upstate New York as you get a look inside Rocket Highmark Stadium in Orchard Park. Today, we've got a fun AFC matchup on tap as it'll be the Kansas City Chiefs taking on the Buffalo Bills. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. The Chiefs offense set to go. And Mahomes going to put it up right away. Now a swing pass. It's Edwards Alaire. Five yards on the game's first play. Second down. I know it was a game, but you have to sense probably a little bit of disappointment there because when it's out there in open space, I think they expect to get more out of a play, don't you? Especially when you're getting it to your guy out of the backfield. You're expecting him to be able to create something, be a little more shifty. Yeah, no doubt about it. Good open field tackling held it to an okay game. And he'll take this up to the 30, a gain of four. When you find that kind of yardage, you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier. And guess what? You're going to go back and tell your offense coordinator, I'd like to keep carrying it, thank you. An early test. Two plays in. This is third and two. Mahomes going to throw. He's got his target. That's complete. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. Mahomes to MVS there for the Kansas City first. And Brandon, from our time in college football, where receivers weren't running the traditional NFL route tree, one thing they did learn, find open areas, find soft spots, and set up and catch the ball. And I think we just saw that there. Yeah, we saw that indeed picking up the first. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Gregory Rousseau works his way in for the stop and the loss. I thought he did a nice job there setting an edge and make sure nothing could get to the outside. But he decided that wasn't enough for him. Worked his way back inside and made the tackle on the ball carrier. Now they contend with a second and 12 after the loss. Throwing now is Mahomes. This one to the right caught by Valdez Scantling. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. 12 yards there as they keep this drive rolling. It's another first down. Even against double coverage, he found enough of an opening for a noticeable gain. Two guys on him, yet he finds a way to uncover downfield for the completion. Mahomes now on first down. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. That's what you're going to need to do against those big receivers. you got to get in there and get physical with them. That time he got in close, got in tight, and knocked the ball away. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Here's Mahomes to throw. That's complete. It's Travis Kelsey. And he's got a first down as a tackle made at the Bills' 34-yard line. A really nice pickup of 14 yards, and it moves the sticks. He's certainly done a nice job spreading the field on this drive, and here he finds his big tight end for good yardage. And that's what you have to do. Keep defenses guessing about where you're going to go with the football. Mahomes now on first down. Got an open man. It's Valvo Scantling. And he's going to get this down near the 20-yard line. Back-to-back -back nice plays, 12 yards that time and a first down. Well, that's not just his first, not his second, already his third completion here on the opening drive. And I think it's safe to say that getting him the ball in this game, one of their top priorities. And a top priority for the defense has got to be finding ways to cover him. And, and that is caught for the touchdown, Kansas City. Isaiah Pacheco, a 22-yard touchdown grab. And the Chiefs have taken the early lead on the road here in Buffalo. And we remember, of course, all scoring plays need to be verified upstairs, and I think they're going to at least take a look at this. Harrison Bunker is on for the extra point. Yeah. 
And his kick is good to make it 7-0 KC. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And from the end zone, Deontay Hardy will bring it out. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped it to 23-yard line. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. And the Bills now with a first and 10 at their own 23. Throwing to start the drive. Allen. Oh, he had a man running free, but he overshot him, and it's incomplete. There are not many times where you might say it's a detriment to have a quarterback with a cannon for an arm, but this might be one of those few times. He just laid that one out there a bit too far, and his receiver couldn't run under it. Allen will try again on second down. He's got his target. It's the tight end, Knox. A first down there on a pickup of 25. And that was good protection there. No, that was great protection there because it allowed him to lock in on his receiver. Although I think he was looking for his tight end on the corner route all the way. Nice connection there for a really nice gain. They run for the first time with James Cook. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. But if you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, the guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism, they created some nice space for him. Second down and six now. Now Allen. A quick throw there is incomplete. Man coverage is certainly a staple of their defense, and it's built for plays like that, forcing that incompletion. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. Allen. Shakir holds it in. Two yards on the pickup there. And that's going to make it fourth down. Well, we hear so often how tackling has become almost a lost art in the NFL game. But it's so important to tackle well on these receivers, especially in a play like this one. Third down, they gave him the underneath stuff. You got to go and make the tackle right away. So now on fourth down, Sam Martin on to punt for Buffalo. Waiting on it will be Richie James. And the punt over the side in the air, and the spot will be inside the 35. Kansas City taking the field for their second drive. And they'll be looking to make this a two-score advantage. Had the touchdown on their first drive, Charles. Hey, they can get up two scores here on the road. That's a heck of a start. And not only have they thought about it, I wonder if they visualized it. I remember playing, and they used to turn the lights out in our meeting room and run through a situation like this and say, just think about what it would be like to be up on the road and take the crowd out of it. Maybe they did some of that. So the completion results there in nine yards, and that'll give them a short yardage situation here for second down. Now Mahomes, his throw incomplete. Well, they've got man coverage on the outside, and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone. And there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. 
Edwards Alaire, they'll try to run for it. Shoves him away. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. Give him 15 yards on that one. Kansas City has a first down. Just about every coach we talk to says the crowd shouldn't affect us. That shouldn't be an issue. And then the next breath they talk about taking the crowd and taking them out of the game by picking up first downs and keeping them at bay. I think we just saw an example of that there, didn't we? It's important to do, especially early in the game like they have. Meanwhile, Mahomes throw here complete to Kelsey. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. Well, I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well. And that's what they just did on that play. Mahomes firing complete. And down inside the 15 he goes. This duo locked in 14 yards there and a first down. Well, as a coach, you absolutely love seeing your offense find their rhythm early, and that's exactly what we've seen so far. They had a touchdown on their opening drive, and now they connect here for another nice gain for a first down. This offense is moving the ball well, exactly as he drew it up in practice. That's good. The completion there for seven yards, and it's second down. A seven-yard pickup. Brings up second and three at the six-yard line. To throw, it's Mahomes. Toward the pylon, caught. And in for the Chiefs touchdown. Clyde Edwards-Alaire from six yards away. And the Chiefs have taken a 13 to nothing first quarter lead. Well, this has been a flawless start for them. They score, they get the stop, and they score again, Charles. Complimentary football at its finest. You just mentioned how they got it done. They scored, the defense got the ball back for them. They score again. That's the way you win ball games. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much, as he's marked out officially at the 21. So here come the Bills out for their second drive. They find themselves in a good size hole here, and a good size hole early on in this game as they come up on first down. Here's Allen to throw it. And his throw is incomplete. Well, it certainly appears that they're going to try and keep getting him the football. It's the third time they've looked in his direction. Unfortunately, haven't completed one yet, but I'm not sure they're going to shy away from it. They feel like they've got something there, and they want to capitalize on it. I think you're right. We're only in the first quarter, so a lot of opportunities ahead. Back to the air on second down. It's Allen. And his throw is going to be incomplete. And he's only hit on two of his first six passes. Time for a quick quarterback regroup here with a big third down coming up. The threat of a second straight punt to start the game is looming as they come up third and ten. Allen now looks to throw. And that will be incomplete. Every offense tells you they want to come out and start fast. That's not unusual at all. But this group, they've yet to get much rolling through their first two drives. It looks like they're going to have to give up the football again after this one. On fourth down, here's Sam Martin on to kick it away. Go, 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 go. 
James now to return it. They'll net only 35 here following a 43-yard boot, 8-yard return. And it's Chiefs football, first and 10. And now here comes Kansas City. It has been about as perfect of a start to this game as these guys could have asked for, Charles. They've scored on their first two drives. They still haven't given anything up on the other side of the ball, so they can already make this a three-score game here if they can come away with points on this drive. Yeah, they're almost pushing to the brink, aren't they, partner? Almost to the point now where it's a loss of words for me, which I know would excite all of our viewers, but you're just not supposed to see that type of dominance so quickly in a game like this. Everything they've done has been working so far. Offense, defense, you name it, it's going well for them. On first down, they go back to Pacheco. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. The job of any linebacker involves having enough strength to fight off a blocker and get into ball carriers, but in this case, I think we can safely say he beat him right off the snap to get into the backfield and make that play. From the gun, it's Mahomes. And a quick throw here, that's complete. Calling a gain of six on the play, and it brings up third and five now. Mahomes now to throw. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he's got a first down as the tackle made at the Bills 19. 19 yards that time for number 19. A pretty sizable deficit here in the first quarter. This defense probably need to get off the field in those situations on third down. And you and I both know in this huddle before that last third down play, that's exactly what they talked about. Let's make a play. Let's get off the field. Let's reverse the momentum. Instead, they got hit with another first down. Almost back to the drawing board. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. That certainly appeared to be a play call where they were just trying to make second down, second and short. I think they thought the coverage was off a little bit more than it was. Nice job there pressing up on it and forcing the incompletion. Now it's Mahomes again. This is caught. Touchdown! Mahomes hitting his favorite target, Travis Kelsey, on the touchdown pass. And the Chiefs have moved out in front by three touchdowns. Boy, still in the first quarter, and look out. I mean, they are on pace for over 80 points in this game. I don't know that they'll get there, CD, but this has been impressive to watch so far. That certainly would be history in the making, wouldn't it, partner? I'm glad we're here to actually watch and see if it actually happens, although, like you, I have my doubts, but they are firmly in control of this game. So how about this for a start? 21-0 here in the first as they kick this one away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. Well, CD, you kind of feel like they're in a bit of a danger zone right here because now you're down three scores. And I know we're in the first half, but the way this offense hasn't been able to generate anything, you feel like they probably need to get something going on this drive, right? Yeah, and sometimes I overuse that this is an important possession, but I think this has to be the possession where they come up with an answer because only a few teams in league history have ever come back from a four-score deficit, and if they don't score here, that's what they could be facing the next time they get the ball. Here's a second and five now from the 25. Now Allen. Into the hands of the tight end, Dalton Kincaid. 
And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. A gain of 19 yards. That's good for a Buffalo Bills. 21 nothing. our score after one. Second quarter now in Buffalo. It's the Bills in control of the football as they've got it with a first and ten. Up the middle, it's Cook. And he'll take it across the 50 and into Chief territory. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave him with a second and two. Good yardage there on first down, exactly what you want. Get yourself set up to keep making first downs, keep the clock running. And if they're smart, you're starting to milk the clock. No hurry before you run your second down play. Play action, now it's Allen. And he's taken down inside the 30. First target, first catch, and a first down. Now that's the kind of big play you'd like to see. This first half, it hasn't cut away, and they could use a shot in the arm, something to perk them up a bit. And they get one here in the passing game. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Here's Allen. It's Knox, the tight end, making the catch. And they are able to stop it, but he does take it all the way to the two. That'll be marked as a 27-yard pickup. That's a nice job right there. Get the ball out to the perimeter. Get it to your guy in space. And he's just going to take this, turn up field, and turn it into a big play in first and goal. Murray will score. Touchdown, Buffalo. Well, this had not been the greatest of first halves to this point. They've been pretty well dominated in all phases of the game. So this was an important drive just to show they can move the football and finish. And now they're on the board here on the touchdown run. The Tyler Bass on for the extra point attempt. It's up, it's good, and that'll cut the lead to 21 to 7. Touchdown, Bass to kick it away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. The Chiefs ready to rock again on offense. Right now, everything they touch turns to gold. This is their fourth possession. Touchdowns on their first three possessions. I mean, this defense, they can't seem to stop them. It's like they're on skates. Great analogy, Brandon, because they are pushing them back and winning everything at the line of scrimmage. They've just been laying down tracks towards the opposite end zone. So to themselves, all they're saying is, if we don't make a mistake, there's no way they can stop us. And they give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. Well, in every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown. So a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game, trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now, hopefully get to the perimeter later. And let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. That one covers 29 yards, first down. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage, so timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. On first and ten, here's Pacheco. And he'll follow his blockers there all the way down to the 23-yard line. Another big hitter there. This one good for 18. Most of their damage has been done through the air. I mean, they've rung the bell three times with passing touchdowns. But guess what? Ground game has not been neglected. Nice little burst right there. A 
On first down, Mahomes. Throw left side complete. That's Rice. And he is out of bounds right around the 10-yard line. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against them a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there, and they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. On first and ten, here's Mahomes. And he's got it. Touchdown, Chiefs. Kadarius Tony from 10 yards out as his guys are able to push that lead out a bit further. They went five wide in that offensive set and racing going three wide is a big deal. To go five, how about the way that they finish things off? <laughs> Did you just fit a race car reference into the game? Zoom, zoom. How about the way that you play? When you go five wide, that means you're going fast now. Zoom, zoom indeed. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And he won't get this to the 20-yard line as he's down at the 19. And here come the Bills. They're down three touchdowns to this point, needing to put something together as they have it first and 10. On play action, Allen. A short throw pulled in by Kincaid. And he'll be out of bounds at the 25-yard line. It'll be a gain of five, and it'll be second down. So much goes into a successful play, doesn't it? How about that play action there, freezing the defense just enough to spring the tight end free downfield for the completion. So they fake the handoff. Now Allen. Eight yards that time, able to take off, and the result is a first down. They made a nice effort to stick him with a loss for that play, but it's going to take more than that to keep him from advancing the ball. Should be an entertaining battle anytime he tucks and runs over the second half of this contest. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Throwing now is Allen. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Some of the fans here don't seem too happy about what we've seen in this first half. No, not at all. And I understand why they look lethargic, out of sync, and it shows on the scoreboard. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Allen running the option to the left. And he'll get this only up to about the 35. He'll get two on the keeper, but it becomes now a third down. Pretty good little two-play sequence there. You force the incompletion, then a very short pickup. Yeah, now maybe you bring in an extra defensive back or two because you want to try and defend on third down. They like to play those nickel or sub packages, don't they? Throwing is Allen on third. He's got his target. That's complete. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 37. A big gain of 28 as the drive continues. And I don't think there's any question that this offense is going to need to hit on a few more plays like this. It's been a difficult first half for them, to say the least. And I do believe if they want to get back in this game, they need to start right now. It's kind of like making adjustments. If you try to wait until the half, it's probably too late. They need to get going right here. Rogerius Sneed up to make the play defensively. That's a strong pickup right there on first down. And as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. Now second and five. They run it again with Cook. And he'll take this close to a first down at the Chiefs' 28. 
But, Barton, if the defense isn't going to adjust and they keep giving them those five, six, seven yard runs over and over, they're likely to run it the whole way to the end zone. They'll be more than happy to take the yardage available and save some of their other plays in the playbook for another time. They'll run here. It's Murray. And he's going to get the first down here as he's taken down at the 22. Give him the third down conversion, five yards on the play. We all love to have a home run hitter in the backfield. Guy can take it the distance, but a short yardage trying to pick up first downs. That big guy, oh, he's a nice luxury to have, isn't he? And now they'll throw with Allen. And that one too far in front. He couldn't reel it in. It's incomplete. Then it backs up against the wall a little bit, and they come through by forcing an incompletion. Now they've got to continue to ratchet up the intensity a couple more times and get off the field before giving up any more yardage. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Cook up the gut. And he is into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. 22 yards for James Cook. And the Bills are able to make some inroads here to that deficit. You get in a second and long situation down here in the red zone. I'd say most defensive coaches would think pass. Let's bring some pressure. So this is kind of a tendency breaker here to hit him with something on the ground. And he'll take it all the way into the end zone. An extra point by Bass, up and good. And that cuts the lead to Touchdown, Bass to kick it away. Muscles by at the 25. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. And the Chiefs offense ready to go again. So both of these teams, Charles, coming off touchdowns now, but this offense, they just had to stand on the sideline, watch their opponent offer a really impressive drive to reach the end zone. Yeah, and I think you're not telling yourself the truth if you don't think there's some one-upsmanship going on right now because they just had their touchdown answered by a drive of double-digit plays that also found the end zone. Now they want to do something even more impressive to answer that one. Daquan Jones in on the tackle there. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. Mahomes to throw on second down. He finds Watson. It's caught. And they worked this well upfield across the 45. Last play, they got stuffed at the line. Different story here, over 20 yards. Throwing on first down is Mahomes. And his throw here is incomplete. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. Throwing now is Mahomes. They'll check this one down to Pacheco. And this time he's able to take it down to the 42. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. He's having a nice game through the air. His decision-making's been really good, solid there again, just seeing nothing downfield goes underneath. Nice game. How about the patience? Because when you're having a big game through the air, you're looking for those chunk plays, those big ones downfield. Instead, as you noted, takes the check down, dumps it off, gains good yardage anyway. Really well executed.
So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Play action. Now it's Mahomes. That ball is caught. Marquez Valdez scantling. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Operating from the red zone now, Mahomes to Valdez Scantling over the middle. That was play number seven on this drive, and it got him seven yards. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. The Chiefs now going to use the first of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. Now second and three. Looking to throw is Mahomes. And they'll set up the screen to Pacheco. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the nine. Four yards on the play, and that leads to the first and goal. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon. And it looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. And that time, they pick up a first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going? Shotgun snap to Mahomes. To the right side, it's Kelsey. Now another timeout called for by the offense as the clock will stop with 20 seconds to go in the first half. And the ball smack dab on the five yard line. Here's second and goal. Mahomes to throw once more. And in for the Chiefs touchdown. Marquez Valdez Scandling bringing in that one for Patrick Mahomes. And the Chiefs would extend their lead here just before halftime. There was no going through the progressions on that touchdown pass. Yeah, nor was it necessary. His receiver won that route early, presented himself. No reason to wait. Go ahead and put it on him and score a touchdown. Extra point by Butker is on target. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kicks away. And he won't quite make it to the 25. The Bills offense now for one final time in this first half. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. And they'll indeed start on the ground to run that clock. And defensively, they're just looking to keep him contained as they're able to get him down. Now a timeout signaled for, and they'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. The ball on the 32, it's second and two. Now Allen has his man, it's Shakir. Complete to Khalil Shakir. Brings up third down. Come on, guys, what are you doing? 
Here comes third in the length of the football. Allen now looks to throw. They're unable to connect, but a late flag comes in. And the contact may have come too early. Trying to defend the out route there, got the P.I. call. And you know what's difficult about that one is sometimes you want to make the undercut move and go for the football, and other times you just want to hang on the upfield shoulder and make the tackle. I think he got caught in between and created a foul. So the yellow flag came out, and that leads to a new set of downs for this offense, first and ten. He's got the hook up with Diggs. Now he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. So we reach halftime in what's been a fairly one-sided game so far. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. And he'll be brought down right on the chalk of the 20. Out come the Bills now as he'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. And you have to think, Charles, down three scores already. They need to play an almost perfect second half to have a solid chance. And that absolutely starts with finding some way to put together a touchdown drive here. They need to be smart, fast, efficient, get the ball into the end zone, and do it again multiple times in order to have a chance to win this game. He'll be marked down at the 26 with a gain of seven. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here, and if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. On second down, Cook. And he'll be brought down right at the 30 here. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Sometimes I get almost mesmerized watching these runners who have great vision. You know, those eyes that carry their feet to open spaces, make people miss. I just love watching those guys go to work. So first and 10 now from the 30. From the gun, it's Allen. It's complete to Diggs. And he's taken down right at the 45-yard line. A really nice gain of 25 yards. Well, we talk all the time about playing situational football. And right now, I think the scoreboard is dictating what they need to do. Where they are in this game, they've got to push the ball downfield, take their shots, try and get big chunks of yardage in a short amount of time. That was a nice And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. The Mississippi State man, Chris Jones, with a sack there. You know, on these types of plays, we're always looking to assess blame. Okay, where did it break down? Sometimes it's just a great play. Coming up now on a second and 15 following that sack. From midfield, here's Allen going deep for Diggs. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. <laughs> well, you've certainly got to be on your toes defensively when you're facing Josh Allen. He can hit you from any angle. He's got arguably the strongest arm in the business, and he uncorks a deep one here, but that one falls incomplete. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. It's Knox, the tight end, making the catch. And he'll lose yardage here, back at the 47. So that'll go as a four-yard loss on the play. And it'll be fourth down. We'll put that one in the win column for the defense. Trying to contain tight ends in the passing game is so difficult nowadays, but they did in a big way there. Here's the punter, Martin, out to kick it away. There, this punt will go out of bounds. I think it'll be inside the 25, and it will. Right at the 24-yard line is where they'll spot it. So here's the Chiefs offense ready for their first reps in half number two. Well, this offense, this team, they are rolling right now, Charles. They've scored on three straight possessions. You look at the scoreboard, and they pretty much right now got this thing on cruise control. Yeah, and this is that time of game where you and I have to be prepared, right? Isn't this kind of like... A throw for Tony is intercepted. Picked off by Jordan Poyer. And they are going to set up shop at the 40-yard line. Intercepted. They'll bring a receiver in motion right. First down, here's the run with Cook. And little room to maneuver there. He gets it down about the 39. 
Nick Bolton there on the tackle. Defenses always talk about earning the right to rush the passer on third down. And you know what offenses want? Win first down so they can set things up for themselves better. And that wasn't helpful there. Not a big impact on first down. Here now second and nine from the 39-yard line. Again, it's Cook. Dancing away at the 30. And a good push up front, and he's able to navigate his way down inside the 30. 11 yards and a Buffalo first down. That was good, tough running right up the middle. And if the defense can't penetrate and make him slow his pace or change direction, that's often the end result. Little pitch and catch to the tight end, Knox. So just three yards on the completion there. And that'll bring up second down. It's vitally important to wrap him up immediately because if you let that big guy get ahead of steam up, boy, then you've got real trouble trying to get him down. But they're able to hold him to a short gain on first down. From the 25, here's second down and seven. A tenth carry in the game for Cook. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. No gain on the play there, so they're left with a third down and six. You don't see that a ton, do you, or the cornerback coming over to the middle of the field to make a run tackle? That's someone with a ton of confidence to feel like nothing is pressuring him on his side of the field. Sees that the ball's moved to the middle and just sprints over there to help out. He ends up getting the tackle. Well played. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. Well, how about the coverage we just saw him break out on third down? Dive defense, blanketed the field with extra defensive backs and speed, unable to find an open hole to complete that pass. So on fourth down, off goes Allen. On comes Tyler Bass for the Buffalo field goal. From the left hash, it's a 42-yard attempt. The kick by Bass is good. And the deficit drops now from 21 down to 18. So, Charles, they get to them with their first turnover of the game and then make it hurt a little bit extra with a field goal. And anytime you give the ball up, what's the first thing a coach tells his defense? Don't let them score off of this. You've got to put out the fire. In fact, in 2021, that's what one NFL coach termed his defense. The firemen, go out there, guys, and don't let them put some points on the board. So after knocking through the field goal, here's Bass to kick it away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. Here's the Kansas City offense now as they get set to take over. The last drive for this offense, Charles, you remember it ended in one play, that quick interception, but they do still have the lead as they start this drive here. And that's something to focus on for them as well because it's not quite no harm, no foul. But the interception, hey, shake it off, move on. Hasn't cost your team the lead, and now it's time to rebound. And the quarterback and his teammates, they can add to the lead with a good drive here. Was that a design pass, or what was that? It was built into the play call. He had the opportunity to either hand it inside, keep it himself to run it, or do what he just did. Throw that pass inside, hitting a receiver on the run. Now Mahomes throwing on second down. Short throw hauled in by Kelsey. And Kelsey's going to have a Chiefs first down as he'll be brought down at the 38-yard line. It's a nine-yard gain, and it keeps the drive moving. And the tight end is certainly a position built to move the chains because they can control space underneath. If they've got good hands, then, of course, they're a dynamic target. But one other thing is they're right in the sight lines of a quarterback on just about every play. And that makes it easier for the quarterback to pick him out and deliver. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. Well, he certainly thought he had a window to push that ball downfield, but as soon as he released the throw, the corner was there to slam that window shut. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Working from the gun, Mahomes. It's Kelsey on the ground. 
And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. 90 yards receiving now for him in the ball game. It's a first down. This offensive game plan has just been sensational. I mean, when you think about all the different ways they've gotten their receivers open so far, it's really been impressive. Scheme, design, execution. They go play fake. Mahomes, another pass into the reliable hands of Kelsey. That'll go for a gain of seven, and that'll make it second down. And coach is always hard on the quarterback reading the defense and getting it to the open man. That's good recognition there. And how about what he did after the catch? Yeah, hit your tight end, let him get some rack. Yeah, when he, when he gets moving, not many guys want to come over and put a hit on him, do they? They fake the give. Now Mahomes. Open man is the tight end, Noah Gray. First target, first catch, and a first down. I'd have to say they're feeling like they are in rhythm right now. Things are in sync, aren't they? Team's winning, got a nice little margin on the scoreboard, completing some passes, and they just completed another one for a first down there to the tight end. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. On play action, it's Mahomes. Open on the left side, this is Valdez Scantling. And he'll head out of bounds inside the 10. Mark him down at the nine. The end result, 21 yards. I'll tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them. And these guys have been taking advantage so far. Now it's Mahomes again. And that's caught. It's Kelsey. Touchdown, Kansas City. Travis Kelsey, a beast in the red zone with his second touchdown of the game. As his guys have opened up a very comfortable lead. Butker now to add the extra point. And they open the lead up now to 25 points. Makes the score. Chiefs 42. Bills. 17. <laughs> Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. This fielded right at the goal line. Escapes the defender. The Bills ready to take over. But we haven't exactly been treated to a nail-biter in this one, CD. And if they cannot score here, this one's pretty much all but over. Are you saying that you feel like people are starting to think about getting out of here, maybe beating the traffic in order to get home or to their final destination? Uh, yeah, I don't think there's a whole lot of reason to hang around, especially if they can't score here. Yeah, you're right about that because it has been pretty clear who the better team has been in this one. And in a league that we talk about every game being a one-score game as we go into it, watching this blowout, it's, let's just say it's been unusual. And they'll come up on a second and seven from the 27. Now Allen. There's Stephon Diggs for the catch on the slant. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. Here's third and three. To the air, Allen. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have a Bills first down as they convert on third and three with a nice gain of seven yards. But you can absolutely feel the thought process there. They just gave up the touchdown. So in the huddle, they're telling each other, you don't want to give it back now on a three and out. Nice job of making sure that they wouldn't, and they pick up the first down. 
Allen going to fire quickly and get it to Diggs out wide. And he's dropped right at the 40. Gain of three. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of until they stop him, why not go back to him? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. On play action, Allen. Man open downfield is Diggs. He's got it. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Three quarters in the books. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Buffalo. A lot of folks starting to make their way to the parking lot. Their guys trail big here to begin quarter number four. They'll try the middle with Cook. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Oh, that's one to warm the hearts of all those old school football players, isn't it? Tough, hard, gritty run. Got behind his pads, bowled over a few people. Look at that one, right up the gut. Saw it through three quarters. No reason to lighten up now. Allen going to throw. Throw right side, caught by Davis. And he doesn't quite make it, taking it with an eyelash. Dropped at the one. A good pick up there, 21 yards. And with this game well in hand, perhaps we are seeing the coverage lighten up a little bit as they got burned there a bit for a first down. Well, we certainly know the coach isn't happy along the sideline because he certainly wants him to finish this one out the way he started it. He doesn't want to give up any soft completions, no late points. He wants his lead to stay right where it is. He had to fight that time. Ran through one tackle, but ultimately he's only going to get back to the line of scrimmage. They're right there at the one. No gain, but don't let that stop you. Line back up and keep going at them. If I'm them, I'm thinking about going at it four straight times. Allen looks to throw on second down to the end zone, but it's incomplete. When you run in the slant, timing is everything. And against that man coverage, there was no space available and incompletion as a result. This is third and goal. This Chiefs defense, they're giving it all they got. Here's Allen. And he's got his tight end Knox for a Bills touchdown. A one-yard touchdown pass. And the Bills get a bit closer. No surprise there. Third and goal down here. That's where they're going to look for their tight end. Yeah, you want that big guy running his routes because it doesn't matter who they cover him with. If it's another big guy, he might use his bulk against him. If it's a shorter defender, he might go over the top. Either way, you tend to find a little bit of a mismatch in that area. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. Taken at the goal line. And good coverage there on special teams as they'll get him down shy of the 20. Now this Chiefs offense gets set to go again. But the win for them at this point seems pretty assured. I mean, still a decent amount of time left here in the fourth quarter, Charles, but you got the football, you're up three scores. They have to be feeling really good about where they're at. I love your observation yeah, yeah. skills, partner, because I think you saw them charge onto the field, fired up about another chance to get into the end zone. Looks to me like this group is ready to crush any hope left on the opposing sideline, and they want to do it with some gusto, too. Give them a couple on the carry there, second and eight. This defense starting to buckle down when they need to, and right now they're winning this fourth quarter, losing the game, but they're winning in the fourth quarter. And what a fine line it is about what they're trying to get done, because 
They're down, so they obviously need the football, need a score, but they can't be so aggressive as to give up their edge, their gaps, and have the offense hit them with a big play. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Give him 15 yards on that one. Kansas City has a first down. Another example of this offense really having their way, Charles, and another big chunk play there on the ground. And when you look at the defense, they've got to do a much better job of wrapping up when they tackle. A lot of great opportunities continue to slip through their fingers, as do the runners. First and 10, it's Edwards Alaire with it. And a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. Good gain there on first down. It keeps him in a running situation, probably. They did everything right on that play, didn't they? They got the leverage up front. Good blocking. Nice hole for him. Ends up picking up nice yardage. Stays in bounds to keep the clock rolling. They are in charge of this scenario right now. They want to stay that way. And not in any rush offensively. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. I know flashy plays, splashy plays, as people like to call them. That attracts a lot of attention. But let's face it, when you're efficient, that can control a ball game. And I love the game plan they've got going right now. Back-to-back -back five yard gains. Didn't force the ball downfield, picked it up on the ground. Yeah, offensive line, they're getting it done. A run on first down, but it's not gonna get him much. Maybe a yard and that's all. This drive is pretty clear. Almost feels like old school fundamentals, doesn't it? Want to pose their will on the defense. Was that five straight runs? Yeah, five straight carries to start this drive. And like you said, the way it's working, they may just stick with it. Second and nine. They go play action. Now Mahomes finds his man. It's Kelsey on the crossing route here. He's been big. Two touchdowns earlier. Now he's got a first down here. Well, a clear running situation. Try to take time off the clock. He ran the previous play. Set that play action up nicely. Boy, did they ever, because they had shown the ability to run the football. So now you lose your keys as a defense. You dive for the running play, and they hit him over the top. They'll run out of the gun with Pacheco. And some room to work. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. 82 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. Starting to become a tough spot for this defense. You're down fourth quarter, looking a little fatigued maybe on that side of the ball. Partner, we've seen this before, haven't we? Because every coach we've ever talked to says body language is important. And now you're seeing guys with their hands on their hips. They're bent over. Hand Touchdown! Kadarius Tony with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Chiefs are able to widen their advantage. He's got them out now to a three-score lead here in the fourth quarter after that one, CD. And well, he looked right off the line like he knew that that ball was coming his way, and he secured it for six points. Yeah, and I think when you're leading by a healthy margin already, it actually loosens you up and allows you to take maybe a few more chances and definitely play with more confidence because he certainly saw something he could exploit in the defense, and he made sure to let his quarterback know, just get it to me. And the rest was all up to him, and he delivered and made it a three-score game. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. This take it in at the goal line. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. Well, we said it at halftime that they would need a nearly perfect second half to erase that deficit that they were facing, CD. But unfortunately, the second half has pretty much been a carbon copy of the first. Yeah, that early lead was almost insurmountable the way their opponent was playing. And, partner, they do have some good news, though. This one is getting close to being over, and they can try and hit the reset button starting tomorrow. And he works it across the 25 before being tackled. 
Ten yards there to start the drive and just enough by about the length of the football for a first down. He's having a big game through the air and sometimes those smart decisions just dump it off. That's how you continue to have big games through the air. I agree totally. That's, that's a great analogy, a great way to put it because he doesn't get too greedy where everything has to be pushed downfield. Allen hit. He lost the football. Looks like a running back going through the line. Quarterbacks have to be aware of protecting the football as well. He left it exposed that time. Wound up having it knocked free, but fortunately, had an alert teammate who was able to get it. The fumble on first down now. Here's second down. Now Allen. Eluding the pressure right. Under pressure again, and down he goes again. That's George Karloftis who fought his way through the line to bury him. We all know he's one of the better quarterbacks in the league, but definitely not today. His team trailing by multiple touchdowns and a late sack, just a parting gift from the defense for him to take back to the locker room with him. On third and long, it's Allen. Has his man, it's Shakir. And they'll get him down at the 34, and he's going to be short of the first by a few yards. So eight yards on the completion there, and that's going to bring up a fourth down. One final try here for Allen. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And yeah, they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. But no reason not to try it there. And they do indeed convert on fourth. Felt compelled to go for it there on fourth down. Trailing in the fourth quarter. They got it done. And there's always a lot of pressure on a fourth down call. Doesn't matter the distance. He stopped to get it done as you noted. And they did. First down and they're going to throw with Allen. And that's going to be incomplete. And not a common sight, at least on this drive. A momentary setback, though, for this passing game that has been moving well this series. Good thing for them, though. Still two more downs to connect and try and pick up another first down. Here's second and ten. Now Allen again. And Diggs has it. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 35. That one good for 16, and the drive will continue. Well, this game was decided a while ago, and that completion there, it's going to artificially inflate his passing numbers. So right now, the only one really applauding probably his agent as he thinks about angling for a new contract. On first down, Allen setting up the screen for Cook. The first down screen pass, good for five. You got the big lead defensively, willing to give him that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle him after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. Here's a second and five. Throwing now is Allen. Escapes the sack. And that almost their first INT of the ball game. Had his sights on it, but he couldn't seal the deal. Even with such a big lead late, the effort hasn't lapsed one bit. If the offense wants to score some points in this one, they're going to have to earn it. These guys are not giving up anything. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. And again, it's Allen. That is caught, and he is going to have a Bills first down as he'll be marked down a yard or two past the marker following a gain of six. To throw, it's Allen. And that is incomplete. Down to 15 seconds now. Well, a momentary speed bump there with that throw, partner. The defense had other ideas, and they're trying to mount a small stand before this drive reaches the end zone. 
Now a second and ten. Allen now looks to throw. And that is caught. Touchdown, Buffalo. Gabriel Davis, 23 yards for the touchdown. And the Bills are able to cut into that deficit. Yeah, that touchdown counts for their team. But I think it counts more for the fantasy guys, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's just something maybe positive to look at on film. But this one's over, let's be honest. Yeah, I, th I agree with you totally on that one. An extra point by Bass, up and good. And that'll cut the lead down to 18. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. And Kansas City's offense now set ready to go. Just all around a solid performance, and now they've got the three-score lead here, Charles, so the final seconds of the fourth quarter. Yeah, in this one, they've been in control, haven't they? They've earned this victory. No question who the better team was out there in this game. And frankly, the score could have been a lot worse than it was. Give them a lot of credit for how they played in this one. Well, partner, under the lights in primetime, this offense, they gave the nation quite a show, putting up that many points to come away with what will certainly be a memorable win for them. And, Brandon, I think it's as simple as this. Some players, some teams, they're just meant for the big stage. And when they get a chance to play in this type of atmosphere, well, all